easiest way how to beat this bell bearing hunter over here in Kalid at the isolated merchant shack. Now you have to be here at night in order for this to have happened. Um, facing him is almost certain death unless you are pretty good at what you do. So what you're going to do is as soon as he spawns in, you're going to hop on your horse and ride away until his um, health bar disappears from the bottom of your screen. Now once that does, right here behind me is a tree. You're going to ride up along that edge and then get off your horse and walk up there and hide behind that tree. Now he may walk up and look by the tree. If he does, just go around the tree to where he can't see you. Or he's going to walk here and stay here where he will not move anymore. Now, I am using the incantation poison mist. And I just crept up behind him here. I'll go ahead and do it one more time for you guys just to show you. So, okay, so we're going to creep up this ridge right here. Okay. Make sure we get our stuff how we want it. You know, I went ahead and switched a couple of these where my incantations are hitting harder. All right. And then, like I said, I'm using poison mist. Anything you can use that's like a mist or anything like that that doesn't, you know, um, include you throwing something or attacking or anything like that will be beneficial to you at this point. Once you're over here and he walks back to that point, you're just going to start creeping back up there. doesn't really matter which uh, seal you use at this point. We're just going to try to get up as close as we can without being seen or heard. Alright, so we're here. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to hit our poison mist. And we're going to let that start taking effect. I'm not going to lie, this will take some time. But if you have fought this guy, then you know this is the easiest way to beat him. And you're just going to keep doing this pretty much until he dies. I'll see you guys at the end when he's about to die. So this is for the people who can't beat him outright. Some of you may hit harder with your poison mist and some of you may have a better way to do it. This is one way to do it. There we go. I forgot we, do, we don't actually get that sword here. I apologize, guys. And I've already got it, so that may affect the uh, chances of it. But so we got his ball bearing and his sword that he's using here. For those of you who don't know, it is the executioner's sword. Sorry guys, there's so many weapons in this game. Wait one second. It's this one right here. This is the sword that he has and that he uses. And this is the skill. This is its charged. Very awesome sword. You will obtain that either from him or later into the game. Alright guys, without further ado, that's it. If you like what you've seen here, definitely please like. Please subscribe. It helps me grow. I appreciate you guys tremendously. If you have any more questions than anything I've said here or any questions about the gear or anything I've used, hit me up in the comments below. I'll be sure to get right back with you to answer any questions you may have. 
Till the next time, the evil rogue is out.